Look how beautifully packaged they are. Hello. So I've just finished the, my Bare Minerals 3 Looks 1 palette video and my Glaminatrix order has arrived. I'm really excited to play this and I'm going to I'm going to put this in that video but I thought let's crack them open now. I hate waiting. So these are some shades I bought in the Black Friday sale. Look how beautifully packaged they are. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. We've got an ingredients list on the back. I got a beautiful thank you card with a little 10% off coupon. Oh, it's cute. I love the sticker. I don't know what's Just arrived in a nondescript white envelope. I live in the same state. So let's start. Let's have a look at what I got. I love this packaging. Oh, beautifully done. And we got a sticker on the back. This is the color ballet. Oh, there's a lot of movement. Ooh, no odd smell. I really like it. All right, let's do the next pink I picked up. And this was a bubble gum. Ooh, damn. This one is high seas. I've seen his mention this on Instagram so many times now. Oh, oh my god that is gorgeous and this is a lemonade Ooh, it's beautiful too and this is the lucky last shade i chose to get a matte this is the shade camo and that's beautiful too all right, and then I'll show you. I've just put it in its Inglot palette. So these are my Enchanted Lustre. This is the Glaminatrix shades, and this is Sydney Grace Co. And you can see it beautifully pressed. I love it. I'm so happy. I've been playing with the uh, Enchanted Lustre. I tried pressing them myself. That was a bad idea. Don't do that. I love the little combo I've picked out. I'm really excited to play with this. That's what this video is about. Enjoy. Hello, hello. Um, so you would have just seen me unbox my Glaminatrix eyeshadows, which I could not wait for. They actually did not fit in my Inglot palette, the slidey thing. They were just too full of product to do it. This is a really old one I bought. I'm going to try and find oh, some way to put them. Anyway, I thought we would just do a little try on with this. I put the MAC paint pot down and we're gonna go on with these shadows. So starting out, I'm going to put on camo, and this is our green. What is it? I don't know. I just kind of like this color. I was like, I don't think I have one like this. I am going to see if I can try and keep it to just the Glaminatrix shades I bought, but I did not buy a cohesive set. But I want to try and try as many as I can. But this is just blended out beautifully. Alright. And then I feel like I, I feel like I want to do inner corner first. I don't know. I'm just Feeling a bit wild, y'all. I'm gonna go in with lemonade. Oh, sorry, I should have should have shown you. So I've got two pink shades. I don't know, I've just been in love with pinks lately. And we're gonna start off with this color ballet. Sorry, I'm in like such an awkward position to show you. So I'm gonna put the first one on no fix plus. 
Yeah. This does swatch different. All right, well, let's put Fix Plus on the brush. Oops. Okay, um, I think I just swiped it a little bit too hard. I don't know if you can see, I've just smashed it. Oh, this formula is very delicate. All right, well, I'm liking this more. I'm actually just gonna go on my finger now because I'm gonna get a better grip and I'm just picking up some of those pieces and blending it on. And you can see just the difference in color payoff I've gotten from doing that. All right, and then I was doing this straight into my finger and yeah. This is definitely a shadow that I just, I think I recommend the most using your finger for. It really didn't agree with that brush. I, don't, I didn't try to be hard. All right, and then I'm going to put this lovely color and this is bubble gum. And I'm going to, using my finger again, putting this in the outer corner. I kind of just wanted like a gradient effect but this is like a blue purple mm -hmm. I love this thing. Ooh. okay all right and I've just got so the other shade I bought is this blue this is high seas so I am excited to try out high seas and see I do love a glamorous blue on oh, the different formulas so the one that sort of broke is a different formula from these two but it's very pretty I can't deny and then I'm gonna go and pick up camo and just bring it down below my eyes And I'm just going to bring camo in more and just darken that up a bit. Alright, and I'm just going to go chuck on some mascara and I'll be back to show you up close. Right, so I've just put NARS Climax on and Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Sunset. Mostly because I used it earlier. And there were still some left. So, this is up close. You can see the shadows is really pretty I think my absolute favorite is this outer corner one and that was bubblegum I wouldn't recommend ballet I think it's more like a pressed pigmenty th thing going on I've not I don't know I've never had that happen to me before where I'm putting a shadow in and it does that the mattes are beautiful and it's really nice so overall Glamonatrix is a one woman show in Gladstone Queensland my state so I was really excited to support her and buy these shadows from order it takes about three weeks for them to be made and then they're shipped to you they're quite reasonably priced shadows so the Glaminatrix shadows range for about ten dollars Australian that's about eight dollars US which is reasonable especially as they are handmade vegan and cruelty free I wouldn't recommend the shade ballet but bubblegum was really nice and high seas feels like the same formula lemonade was also really pretty and the matte was really nice the packaging that they came in was amazing and it's just that wait for handmade shadows <laughs> when in the inglot when you swipe this they left they left their mark so i'm going to clean that at some point i think it's worth trying if you're interested in the colors or the brand yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i'll be back for a wear test mm. all right we are here for a little checkeroo it is this long since i last saw you not bad at all i mean transfer and some loss of this shade but that just wasn't a formula i was into bubble gum is looking amazing 
and I really like camo and lemonade on here that shade is lost then that was ballet bubblegum camo and lemonade all looking pretty decent not bad at all all right well thank you so much for watching and tuning in I absolutely appreciate and adore you Oh,